This documentary is absolutely amazing. Car Crash, Who's Lying, um, I watched it on BBC, and I felt like, given the length of it, it's only a one episode thing, I think it's just under an hour. I felt like, how much ground could they cover, but at the same time, how much ground is there to cover? Honestly, the execution of this was absolutely fantastic. So this was directed by Chloe Campbell, who's worked on quite a few kind of true crime, real life documentaries. And this one looks at the aftermath of a car crash. I I always say I won't do spoilers in true crime documentaries. It's hard to spoil something that's already occurred in real life. But I hadn't heard of this event. And there were a lot of things in this that surprised me. So I will not go into any specific details. Just in case, like me, you hadn't heard of this case. Off the top of my head, I actually can't remember when this incident took place this car crash, um, but the documentary itself is from 2018, so some time before that. And it starts off with the car crash, and we actually have real footage from the scene of this crash, uh, and the firefighters working to get people out, and Danny Lee, who is kind of our main, um, I guess, suspect for a while, uh, he says that he was driving the car, and as the documentary progresses, we slowly learn what happens to each of the passengers, who's had what injury, who's currently in hospital suffering from this. And the entire thing is about trying to work out who was responsible for the crash and what happened. And on the surface, that seems like you could not get a full documentary out of it. You just get the driver, breathalyze them or not, check the tires, see if there was any um, kind of ice on the roads. Usually it's never this difficult to determine why a crash occurred. But given the horrific nature of this crash and some gaps in the information, it actually makes for exceptionally compelling viewing. It is not as straightforward as one would seem. I think the description on IMDb, on IMDb says, um, as stories change and conflicting testimonies emerge, Police must unpick the mystery of what really went on. And we do have some interviews with detectives and people involved in this. We have some uh, interview footage, which I always love watching. You know, I'd love, if I could be, I'd love to be a forensic psychologist. I just love watching suspects and victims as well being interviewed and seeing how they respond. And the way some people respond is just, you know, if I was in that situation and I was saying I was innocent... I don't think I'd be responding in the way a lot of these people do, just in general. But particularly in this one, there are a few things that just don't add up. It is incredible. As I said, it is only a one-episode documentary. It's it's not a documentary series. It's only an hour-ish. But it uses that hour very well, and it packs it with a lot more information and footage and interviews than I would have expected. It's quite an emotional documentary. I can't really say why without spoiling it, but I feel like the entire reason the documentary was created, not just to show what this is like, but to pay tribute to certain aspects, I won't say any more, but it is, it is a very emotional documentary, it's very well put together, very well edited, the narrative is very good it's not completely linear or well I guess reverse linear once you have the crash and then it doesn't just jump back to you know 10 hours before or however long ago and take us through the journey it gives us bits of the puzzle kind of as the police would have received that bits of information so we're kind of learning as the police did and finding out these things together very fascinating and definitely worth a watch if you like true crime. It will it will make you emotional. And I think you should go to uh, BBC iPlayer and check it out because it really is a wonderful watch.